one of the great features of the SWIM technology is the ability to connect a two-tuner DVR with one cable. If you look at the input on a DVR, you'll see one is labeled SWM or, in the older models, FTM. By connecting to that input, you don't need to connect to the second tuner, but the DVR with two tuners still counts as two separate receivers. Remember, you can only operate eight tuners off the SWM LMB, and each DVR counts as two. Follow the same process as you connect each receiver. Connect the satellite input, connect all video and audio outputs, connect the phone jack, plug in the unit and power it up after it's connected to the LMB. At the blue hello screen, force a software download by pressing 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 on the remote control and the receiver will update to the most current software. At this point, the LMB and receiver communicate and the receiver is assigned a frequency block. If it's a DVR, it's assigned two blocks. Don't plug the unit into power until all connections are made. When the receiver boots up, it will see the SWIM LMB and configure for the SWIM system. If you power it up before connected, it may not detect the SWIM and come up in a standard mode. If this happens, you'll have to shut it down and reboot it with a SWIM LMB connected, and that's just unnecessary steps. So as you've seen, the new SWIM LMB can certainly save you time and allow you to complete installs you might not have been able to do in the past. And the best part is you can do it all using only one cable.